So we had a little, little bit of time here and uh, we got several pages of questions people have asked um, in the comments and then emails and stuff like that uh, that they'd like me to do videos on and, and some of them I have to do videos on but some of them I can just talk about. So we're gonna spend the next few minutes here going through some of these. Um, here's the first one. Can you explain how weighted leather reins work? So weighted leather reins, I don't, personally, I don't really like weighted leather reins. I like the double stitch reins pretty well, but the weighted leather ones uh, just don't feel very good to me. But the whole idea is just to put a little bit more Kung Pao in your chicken. Um, when you go to spank on one, it's, it's got a little more oomph in it. The other idea, and some of the, some of the big time show, show people, well, there's a pair of reins right there, claim, and, and I guess they don't claim, it's true, but, when they're snap bitten and they've got weight on the end of those reins, when they adjust their reins to shorten them, the, the weight of the weighted reins makes everything fall so it stays clean and, and you don't get, get them wadded up. Um, that's the other idea behind them. A lot of those guys that use those, use them only in the shell ring and don't use them while they're training. Uh, because they, they are a little cumbersome having those those weighted reins. They don't, most people don't like the way they feel, but that's that's kind of the idea. One to, to give a little more spank, and the other to uh, to make those reins drop when you want to shorten up, so they don't get uh, don't get tangled up in things. So there's weighted reins. That was an easy one. Can you do a video on setting back when tied? How to fix it and how to prevent it from starting. So preventing it from starting is the main thing that you want to do. Um, Horses, the way horses' brains work, whatever amount of resistance or pressure they feel the first time is the amount of resistance or pressure they expect there to always be. So having one not pull back when tied starts with how you halter break them, um, teaching them that, that pulling back and fighting and trying to get away from that pressure and that resistance, it doesn't release it doesn't release until they give to it. That comes in the halter breaking part. Uh, when you do tie them up, it's really important that you tie them up in such a way that if, if they do uh, get scared and want to pull back, that things don't break. Their halter or whatever they're tied to or their lead rope and somebody doesn't run in there and throw a fit and cut the rope, that if they pull back, they realize that whatever they're tied to is heavier than they are. Um, you know, that happens once or twice, and then of course the phone rings in the middle of it. That happens once or twice, and then they just are in the habit that whatever you tie them to is something that they, they can't get away from, that they're not going to be able to pull down, that they're not going to be able to break, and then they don't try anymore. Uh, there's a lot of, it's mostly dressage riders that I've seen that tie their horse in such a way that if there, something does happen and their horse tries to get away, it will break. The idea is so the horse doesn't get hurt. Yeah, I'll, I get the idea, but they're more likely to get hurt if they get scared and pull back and break something and now they're scared and loose. They're far more likely to get hurt. Um, so the idea is, is first of all, don't ever, don't ever let them learn uh, that they can break something down. And that's why with, with a little baby or, or whatever age, when you start tying them to something solid, just have a good safe place where they can't get tangled up and, and can't get hurt. And if they want to pull back, let them pull. They'll give it up. As far as fixing it, there's a number of ways to fix it. If, if a youngster is starting to get into the habit, uh, one of the ways I really like is to is take a lariat rope and put it around their girth and then run it between their front legs and through their halter and then tie them to the post with that. And when they pull back, it, it not only pulls their head down, it sucks down around their girth, around their body, that loop does. Um, it hurts and it scares them and they don't like the feeling of it. And most of them give it up after one or two times of that. Uh, that's a, a good safe way to do it. Uh, another way I've done uh, is I'll tie a loop over the over the hitch rail like so, and then I'll take the lead rope and I'll tie it down to their front foot. So it goes from their lead rope over the rail or around the post, however, 
you've got it set up and then tie it to their front foot with a with a bowline and so when the, then when they sat back it pulls their their foot up and again it's really uncomfortable and they don't like it but it's it's safe they can't get themselves hurt that way and uh, after a time or two they give it up a horse that's confirmed in the in the habit something that's you know four five 13 14 whatever years old and, and has always always tore stuff down and has always pulled back there's several tricks like the foot trick tying it to their foot there's several things you can do to where they won't set back but you can't really ever cure them by the time they, they'll figure out what what your trick is and they won't set back when you do that but then the first time you tie them regular they'll just go ahead and set back and and get away and go do what they want to do so once they're confirmed in the habit i've i've never seen one cured of it um so if they're confirmed in the habit so problem. much so to the patreon crew you guys are the reason we're able to do this and uh and do the extra things and and really do all the youtube videos too we wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to make it work without you guys so thank you so much and any of the rest of you you can jump on and watch any of these these extra kind of things that, that we do on Patreon and, and see what's going on there. So check that out if you can.